Hi, thanks for joining me on another answer to a question from, um, I guess it came out of a newsletter I sent out and um, I'm gonna read the question to you and then I'm going to ask you to get quiet, turn this recording off, put it on pause, get quiet, see what bubbles up in your own deeper knowing, your, your wisdom, not your personal thinking, not through the filters of your mind, not through what you have learned to think in the past, etc. This is a way for you to see that we're all drinking from the same well of wisdom. I don't have more wisdom than anybody else. I have just learned, and it's the same thing anyone listening can learn, to not abide by my conditioned ways of thinking about things or societal ways even is that's all learned you go to a different society and they see things differently you want to really get in the habit of contacting your wisdom okay here's the question and remember hit the pause button after and then come back on after you've spent a little time in quiet reflection and see what bubbles up for you about this it's a great question how can I be more intimate with my spouse? Not sexual, but close in terms of openness. Yeah, love that question. So what occurs to me is that intimacy is, is exactly that. It's a feeling of closeness. It's a feeling of connection. And we feel when, you know, during a conversation or whatever, we feel when there's been a disconnection or, and we feel when, yeah, we're, we're on the same, we don't even have to be on the same page about something, but the other person is listening. That to me is the operative word. When two people listen with respect, of course, but even beyond respect, they're listening with curiosity, without judgment, without thinking what the next sentence is going to be from the speaker. When we're listening with a degree of puzzlement, like, it's so interesting that he or she sees it this way, even when it's so different from how I see it. But I want to know more. I want to know what you make of this. I want to know what led up to this way of thinking about things. I want to know how you arrived at this conclusion without judgment, just listening. You know how couples will, um, usually the woman, but not always, but you will say usually the woman complains that she just wants to be understood by her partner. She doesn't want him to fix anything. She doesn't want him to um, change her mind, certainly. He doesn't, she doesn't want him even to make her feel better. She's not interested in feeling better in that moment. She just wants to feel like you get her. Well, that proves my point. Listen for connection, not to fix anything, and certainly not to fix the person. Nobody needs fixing. They go in and out of what I would call healthy thinking and unhealthy thinking. And, um, you know, my favorite teacher about that is Sydney Banks. So you can just Google Sydney Banks. There's a lot of YouTubes or my favorite place to get 10 minute segments of talks is on sidbanks.com. Okay, happy intimacy.